Well, we're at Wembley because SSE have announced the sponsorship of the Women's FA Cup, which is fantastic news for women's football. Final's going to be here at Wembley on the 1st of August. It's the first time that women's final has been played at, at Wembley, and it's a really exciting moment. The money's going to go into grassroots football to sort of ring fence to help develop young girls who want to get into football, give them an opportunity to play with other girls, because sometimes it can be off-putting to go into either mixed clubs or sometimes there's only boys-only clubs available to them. So it's going to be a, a really great partnership. The game has such momentum at the moment and it can only inspire young female footballers who want to get into the game. They can see what they can achieve and I think if they see that their game is, is becoming more, it has more parity with the men's game, I think that's inspiring for them. I think if you're starting off, you know, as a young footballer, whether it's a girl or a boy, you dream of scoring an FA Cup winning goal at Wembley. And now these young girls are getting the chance to see that they can do it as well. It's not like they're going to other stadiums that have done it brilliantly in the past, but they're going to come to Wembley and do it if they, if they reach the top of their profession, which is an amazing achievement. I think there's a real increase in, in women's sport. I think there are a lot more women sort of pushing to be taken more seriously. And I think that goes hand in hand with media coverage, with investment like we're seeing today. I think they all have to happen at the same time. You don't get the improvement if you don't get the coverage and the investment. But at the same time, you don't get the investment and the coverage if the performance levels don't go up. So they all have to happen at the same time. And that's why it's a really exciting moment for women's sport.